Maurice Bélanger. I'm Maurice Bélanger. I'm a liberal, and I intend to continue to work for the people of Ottawa Vanier. After having been re-elected for the eighth time in his riding of Ottawa Vanier on the 19th of October 2015, he had accomplished what he, he wanted to do in terms of language rights over the past 21 years. After that, Maurice Bélanger had one final dream, to become Speaker of the House of Commons. Uh, this was a dream that he, this bilingual person could have realized. This is something that uh, he would have done if uh, his, he has... He had not been diagnosed with uh, terrible news on the 27th of November 2015. The Franco-Ontarian Liberal member, former Minister for Official Languages, was diagnosed uh, with uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Uh, it was a gener degenerative uh, disease, incurable and deadly. His uh, dream became a nightmare. His family, his colleagues and his friends were in shock. Well, it's not easy. You can't imagine how he and his wife Catherine and his uh, loved ones must feel, his friends. Uh, well, we really can't accept what's happening to him. He's a friend. We consider him as a friend, and in my case, he's someone I worked with for a long time. He was my whip, I was his whip. We've worked in politics for a long, long time. Now to, to see how quickly he's degenerating, how quickly he's going down how hill, well, that's what's really, really tragic. As a way of paying tribute to him, his colleagues have voted unanimously to allow him to realize his dream on the 9th of March 2016. He became, for a day, the honorary speaker of the House of Commons. It was a time of great emotion. Thank you, as honourable member for Ottawa Vanier and speaker, uh, for the dignity and grace that you bring to the House every day as you battle this terrible disease. Like The Honourable Member for Ottawa Vanier. But rather than being disheartened by his condition, Morul Bélanger continued to work as a Member of Parliament, and he tabled a private member's bill which had been defeated by the Conservatives. This bill was designed to amend the national anthem to make it gender neuter. He uh, proposed to withdraw two words in the Anglophone version of O Canada to replace all thy sons by all of us command. This would make it more inclusive. Uh, this uh, was his final political struggle. Well, in 2016, the national anthem, in the English version, is an anachronism. We have to change it. We have to change it uh, now. Not just because he's ill, but uh, in time for him to, allow him to be able to appreciate the work uh, and the fruit uh, of, his, uh, of his work, if you like. We must correct this in 2016 on the eve of celebrating the 150th anniversary of our federation. It's important that one of our national symbols, uh, which is uh, one of the best-known national symbols of Canada, uh, reflect uh, the progress made in terms of gender equality. Despite the ravages of the ill, which uh, rob him of his voice very quickly, Maurice Bélanger goes down in history by addressing for the first time uh, the House of Commons uh, using an electronic uh, tablet which uh, transmits uh, the messages vocally that he writes. Uh, Seriously ill and prisoner of his uh, body, which uh, no longer uh, works properly, Marie Bélanger was in the House of Commons when uh, members adopted uh, his uh, bill modifying all, Canada, modifying all Canada on the 15th of June 2016. This uh, was a great uh, birthday present for him on his 61st birthday.
Spontaneously, members rose in the House to sing the new version of the national anthem. Mr. Belanger has always promoted language duality in Canada and a fair and just society for all. For this uh, advocate of language duality, there were lots and lots of honors. Uh, uh, when he was not in the House, uh, his colleagues uh, picked up uh, uh, awards uh, for him. The Montfort Hospital Award, uh, the Haitian Community uh, Tribute uh, for a study grant uh, that he set up, also an award from the University of Ottawa, where he was president of the Student Federation in 1977. Once he left university, he immediately became interested in politics. He, he worked at the start of the 1980s for the Minister of Transport at the time, Jean-Luc Pépin. I have the honor to introduce to you uh, uh, Maureen Bélanger, member for uh, the riding of Ottawa Vanier. But he only really jumped into federal politics in February 1995 uh, when he won a by election to succeed Jean Robert Gauthier in the Liberal stronghold of Ottawa Vanier. Well, the following day, I was called by Jean Jacques Blais, a friend of mine, and he said, Well, Maurice, it's time to go now if you want to. Well, I saw really that this was an ideal marriage between Maurice and Ottawa Vanier, and I was a resident of Ride. The new member of, for Ottawa Vanier, Mr. Speaker, I'm speaking for the first time today in this uh, House for two reasons. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the voters of Ottawa Vanier who uh, put their trust in me in uh, the by election on the 13th of February last. Uh, it was the start of a prolific political cre career which lasted 21 years uh, for the son of Matawa in the north of Ontario. He was uh, elected with huge majority. Uh, during eight consecutive elections. Uh, during uh, this time, Maureen Bélanger fought unstintingly to have the Official Languages Act respected, uh, and he advocated for the Franco-Ontarian population as well. He took part uh, in Ottawa at the end of the 90s uh, in the campaign to save Montfort Hospital, which is the only francophone hospital in Ontario. Well, it was very difficult for Maureen to play a special role to fight for Montfort, but it was easy for him to get involved, really. And this is what he did uh, starting at the first uh, uh, first meeting. I, Maurice Bélanger, declare that I will serve uh, Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth II as a member of uh, the Her Majesty's uh, Pri Privy Council. So he became a member of the Cabinet uh, in December 2003 when Prime Minister Paul Martin appointed him uh, Chief Government Whip. And then he became Associate Minister of National Defense, Minister for Democratic Reform, and inherited also uh, interior trade, domestic trade. Where do you come from? Sturgeon Falls. I'm from Marawa. Really? But uh, more than that, uh, it was his representatives, uh, the fact that he represented uh, Ottawa Vanier voters. That's what he considered to be the most important uh, job, and he worked unstintingly for them. Well, if I was to read everything that uh, came through my office here, I wouldn't have enough time, enough hours in the day to do that. If I met everyone who wanted to meet with, uh, well, I would be meeting, meeting people uh, 24 hours a day. That I would be working 24 hours a day, basically. So these are agricultural suppliers, and they're members of your co-op, right? That's right. Uh, it gives me an idea of the supply chain, I think. Maurice Bélanger was also an ardent advocate for cooperatives uh, nationally. He was also the co-founder of uh, the Parliamentary Association of Canada-Africa.
His final fight was against an pitiless enemy. He didn't see it coming, the Lou Gehrig's disease. Despite uh, his fragile state, uh, he was involved right until the end uh, to uh, promote uh, uh, knowledge about Lou Gehrig's uh, disease, and he encouraged research on this disease, uh, the causes of which are unknown, or for which there are no, lo- no treatments. Maurice Bélanger remains uh, a source of inspiration for his friends and his colleagues. Uh, he had hope right to the end.